I'm a firm believer the Wombat is the king of straight mid-ranges. So let's get out into the field and I'm going to show you how this thing flies. I'm going to show you flights between say 100 to 250 feet. I am aiming dead straight down the fairway. I released it with a little bit of hyzer. If you don't know the term hyzer, uh, it's if you're right-handed backhand, putting a little bit of outward edge down angle onto the disc. But I released it with a little bit of that angle and it came up, flipped to flat, and stayed there. That's what the Wombat does. I'm gonna try to put the disc up a little bit. I'm gonna aim a little bit to the left and I wanna see, hopefully, I can make it gently drift to the right. One of the coolest flights that the Wombat 3 does. If you throw it with some power, like I did there, even on an up angle like I had it, I knew that it was going to gently drift to the right for about a third to two thirds of the flight, which it did. It's one of the shots that I love using the Wombat for. When you have to keep something in the fairway, or you have to put something out to the left and let it gently drift to the right, that's the shot. I'm gonna try and release this flat and try to hold off that crosswind. Aiming right for you guys in the camera. Yeah, I threw a little nose up. But even still, it didn't drift off the fairway. Not a great throw, but any other disc might have drifted out into the parking lot. I'm going to do a standstill throw to try and simulate for you a flight with the Wombat 3 with less power to show you it still flies pretty straight. That went about 100 and maybe 30 feet. I mean, come on, come on. Imagine I was in a fairway lined with trees. I just piped that. Who doesn't want a disc that can do that for you? Wombat 3, leaves your hand straight, finishes on the green, flying straight. I'm gonna try and throw a little bit of a hyzer. It may go out of frame, I don't even know if you can see it. The beauty about a hyzer with the Wombat 3, forward carry. An overstable disc thrown on hyzer is going to go out and it's going to crash really quick. If you want a forward pushing, gently fading hyzer, you might have to like move up to a leopard or something in the fairway class to get you that kind of distance on that hyzer line. Not with the Wombat. If you're relatively new to the game, you're just getting your Wombat for the first time, this is the drill I would love to see you do. Stand still. You're throwing down the middle of the fairway, right? I don't want your feet lined up on the middle of the fairway. I want this back leg to come off your center line a little bit. It allows you to pull through straighter, but it allows you to open up your body and it also allows you to get your hips involved. Engage those hips back, Boom, follow through. Chest high. Pull through. Do a series of like, I don't know, 20 reps until you can land those within a 20 foot fairway. That's gonna give you consistency in your timing. Then come back, work a step into your throw. Boo! Land in that same 20 to 30 foot fairway now because you're going further. That's the repetition cycle, the practice cycle you need to build consistency with the Wombat. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think.
Now that you've seen the Wombat fly, let's talk about some of the choices that you have in getting your own Wombat. Uh, I know they're available in Star, Champion, Halo Star, and I believe DX. And I think in DX we go down to 150 grams, and in all of those plastics you can get the Wombat in a max weight of 180 grams. Because the Wombat fly is so straight, I'm a believer that it almost doesn't matter what weight that you get. Sure, find a weight that might be typical to the other discs you throw, so it'll feel familiar in your hand when it comes to the weight, but you know, you can really get this thing in a wide range of weights and it's gonna fly relatively the same unless you really, really power it up or if you're throwing in really breezy conditions. So you kinda can't go wrong. Uh, I throw the Star Wombat 3 more often than not. It's the one that I love the most. I think it's the one that's the most forgiving and also has a, just a gentle fade to it. So go check it out. Let me know what you think.